Hi there! Today I'm going to be doing a one brand tutorial to create this bridesmaid appropriate look. This look was created all with products from Lorac. Lorac is one of my favorite brands of all time. When I first started working at Sephora, I wasn't all that familiar with it and I was more familiar with people mispronouncing it as Lorac, <laughs> which made me think of Lorax from Dr. Seuss, all that. But so once I learned more about Lorac that it is actually Carol spelled backwards because the founder is Carol Shaw. She's a celebrity makeup artist and she created products that she wanted to use on her clients but were also good for people with sensitive skin. She herself has struggled with that. So I fell in love with her, her products, especially her eyeshadows. So I know a lot of people are probably familiar with the Lorac Pro palette. If you could buy one eyeshadow palette, probably buy this one. This is one of the best eyeshadow palettes there is. So I love the eyeshadows. And so when Lorac offered to send me some items, one of them was the Dazzling Dozen 2. This is um, a set of 12 shadows that can be purchased at Ulta only, and it's $39. So if you want to see how to get this soft romantic bridesmaid look, just keep watching. So first we are going to prime our face, and I'm going to use Lorac's Porefection. This is a mattifying primer and I actually use this in my bridal kit on clients that tell me that they have oily skin. I have a lot of friends that have oily skin and they really like this. So this is great because it's an oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free primer. Okay, next we are going to apply foundation. This is Lorac's Porefection Foundation. And this foundation is a little bit newer. It has an SPF of 20 in it, so that's great. And I have the shade PR2 or light. I do think this is a bit light for me, um, but we are gonna make it work. So I am going to pump about a pump and a half on my hand and then just use this buffing brush to apply it. Let's finish our complexion with the Lorac Pro Powder Cheek Stain. This is Coral Crush. I love this color. And these cheek stains are extremely pigmented. They stay on really well, and you'll just take a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so we are ready for what I think is the funnest part, which is the eyes. And we are going to use several shadows from Lorac set that is sold at Ulta called Dazzling Dozen 2. And so what that is is 12 single shadows and it's $39, but you're getting a ton for $39 considering you're getting 12 full-size shadows. Their Lorac Pro Palette retails for $42. That has 16 shadows, but they're a lot smaller. So these are um, 0 0.05 ounces each. And we're starting out with this color right here. We're starting out with this color called Caramel. This is a matte caramel color. <laughs> it is a perfect transition color to place in your crease, so that's exactly what we're going to do with a crease brush. Okay, the next color we are going to grab is called Soft Pink. I suspect this is identical, if not very, very similar to light pink, which can be found in the Lorac Pro palette. So I'm just going to grab this beautiful matte light pink and press that all over the lid. Okay, the next color we are grabbing is another matte shade. So, so far we've been matte shades only. This is acai, um, like the acai berry. And this is a matte kind of blackberry shade. Actually reminds me a lot of Matt's, Matt. it actually reminds me a lot of Max Blackberry. So I'm taking that on a smudge brush. I like to use a smudge brush to really carefully place colors when I'm going to blend them out. I think you've probably seen me do that a thousand times before, so I'm going to place that on this outer corner. And true to all the rock shadows, this is high pigment, 
you barely dip into the shadow and you've got tons of color color payoff so that is what I love most about La Roque. Um, the colors are, you know, what you see in the pan is what you get. And then you barely have to touch the surface and you get this amazing color payoff. So I've placed that with our smudge brush and I'm going to grab a blending brush and soften that out. Obviously we would not leave it like that ever. So I'm grabbing my favorite uh, blending brush, grabbing my favorite blending brush, the Sigma E25. I've used it so much I can't read it. So I'm going to kind of just go over this area, softening it out and bringing it a little bit towards the center of the lid. So I think it helps to kind of just like diffuse the edge of the color. I'm going to take that same acai color on a smaller flat brush and drag that on my lower lash line because we haven't applied any color there yet. So we are just going to bring that from the outer corner inwards. I'm not gonna bring it all the way across though. Okay, if you're kind of bored with all these matte shades, we are finally going to use a shimmer shade. This is called Rose. This color I was probably most excited for in this set because in the Lorac Pro palette there really is no color similar to this. So I am going to grab some of this lovely shimmery rose color on a new blending brush. So I'm going to use a different one so that I don't muddy up the colors I used. I used that other blending brush for acai so I'm using a clean one and I'm going to place this from where the acai color ends going inwards. I'm not going to take it all the way in, just kind of center and a little bit over. I feel like once you start placing this color, the look really begins to come together. It's very romantic and, and candlelit looking. So that's what I think makes this look very appropriate if you are a bridesmaid, because it's romantic and it's soft, but you know, it still has some color it's not all just neutrals. It's not going to steal the show from the bride, but maybe just a little, if you do a really good job. Okay, we are grabbing yet another color, but you know what, if you bought the Dazzling Dozen too, I mean, you already have all these colors, so we are just maxing this kit out. This is called Storm, and while it is kind of a charcoal gray, I think it's got definitely a purple undertone in there. So that's why it's gonna pair really nicely with this. And we are just going to use this on the very, very outer corner. I'm not going to bring it in as much as I did with like that blackberry shade. I'm just going to concentrate it on that very, very outer corner. And then we will finally move on to liner, mascara, and the rest. Okay, so with Storm, like I said, just place it very sparingly on the outer corner only. And then grab your blending brush. You can use the same one that you use to blend out that acai color because these are similarly toned matte shades. And notice I'm just blending the outer corner and I'm not, I'm taking this all the way in the crease. I'm not bringing it all the way over. Just trying to keep it restricted to the outer corner only. And we will clean up this shenanigan so don't worry if it's kind of a messy shape on the outer corner so if you need to go back over your rose shade because i don't want to lose that shimmer just grab a little bit more and kind of touch up the center of the eye that's where we want it to be the most bright because the center of your eye obviously is you know right here where your iris is. So when you put a shimmery or a brighter color on the center of your lid, it, it kind of highlights this area, draws attention to your, your eye color, your iris, your pupil. 
Okay, so I wanna show you a little trick for cleaning up this outer edge. So sometimes if you use makeup remover, um, it's, it's a makeup remover, it's gonna remove your makeup. So sometimes what you could do instead is grab your primer. Um, so we're gonna grab our Lorac behind the scenes primer and just take a synthetic brush, like a concealer brush would work. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of primer on my hand, grab some of this on my brush and I'm just gonna clean up with this primer as though it were a makeup remover, but because it's primer, it's not going to remove as much as like eye makeup remover would. So we can sharpen up our line without needing to redo too much foundation. So for eyeliner, we are going to use Lorac's Cream Eyeliner. This is the color Black Ruby, which is a super cool color. It's as cool as the name sounds. It is a blackened ruby color. It does have a little included brush on the top, but I don't like to use this because it's it's more of a rounded shape and I'm going to use this angled brush from Japonesque. But I love their cream eyeliners. They glide on really smoothly and we are just going to grab a little bit. I like to use my hand as a palette. If this is an eyeliner you're not going to use on anyone else, then you could dip right into it, but I might use this. On someone else so grab your cream liner and then just work your brush into it smooth it out and I'm just going to create a softly winged line I'm not gonna do anything crazy but a bridesmaid wing <laughs> I'm going to take that primer on a brush again to sharpen this wing. Okay, for mascara, we are using the Rock Pro mascara. This has a Christmas tree shaped wand. When Makeup Forever came out with their, uh, what was it called? I can't remember what it was called now, but they came out with a mascara that was basically copying this wand and I still like this one better. So this is just a really nice um, volumizing and lengthening mascara. The wand really does help to coat those outer lashes and give you that fanned out effect. Plus I really like the brush. It doesn't dump too much mascara all over your lashes, which is literally my number one pet peeve with mascaras. If they deposit too much product on your lashes and you have to spend the rest of your time like combing it through, it's a hard no for me. Plus this one is really buildable. I mean, as you can see, I'm just going over multiple times and it's not getting clumpy or thick at all. And that's just kind of how I do my mascara. I'm, I don't let my coats dry, and I know that there's definitely different schools of thought on that, but I like to just work with it while it's wet, get it where I want it, and then let it set. For our lip color, I'm going to use two different Lorac products. So I'm going to use their Alter Ego Lipstick in the color Nymph. It is definitely a very, very pale baby pink. And then I will be topping it with their lip gloss in Supermodel. Now don't let this color scare you because it definitely scared me. It's very, very pale. But putting the lip gloss over it is going to help a lot. Plus this color is very, very matte. So if you don't like a matte finish, just throw a lip gloss on top. Of course, you could just leave it like this, but it's not the most flattering color on me, so that's why I'm warming it up with this peachier shade here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.